What's going on guys? So today we're out here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Rockport, Texas. And we are taking a look at this absolutely enormous, beautiful Riverstone Signature. Now I've actually featured this at the dealer open house in Elkhart uh, about a year ago and it was pretty amazing. But that was a prototype unit. This is actually the real deal. So we're gonna take a close look at this absolutely insanely luxurious fifth wheel. See what it's all about. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so let's stop and take a look at the numbers on this thing first. It's gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 24,000 pounds. That is crazy. This is a very, very, very heavy fifth wheel, and there's a lot of reasons for that. Once we take a look at the inside and some of the construction perks on the outside, you'll understand why. Rides on three axles, 17.5 inch H-rated tires. This is not a toy hauler, so just keep that in mind. 4,223 pounds worth of cargo capacity. So the dry weight of this unit is 19,701 pounds. It's still very, very heavy, and it's a little over 42 and a half feet long. So, yeah, this thing is an absolute beast, and there's a lot of really cool reasons why you might want to look at a Riverstone. First of all, the frame is really unlike any other fifth wheel frame, except for a few who do things differently. So this has your 12 inch I-beam, it has a 10 inch drop frame, and then it wraps this whole section right here in steel, which is different than say this Jayco Pinnacle next to it, which has your I-beam below it, and then it goes up to your upper deck. But the area that surrounds the basement storage is basically there just to hold the floor up for the area above it. This is very structural all the way around that space. We're gonna hop inside, then come back out. This has the Kurt Rotoflex upgraded pin box. This uses the new slim rack system from Lippert. Right. Rack and pinion slide. More I'd step above. Beautiful Riverstone door here. Now these sides are painted. They're just not paint matched to this portion. This entire unit is what's called a full body paint unit, which means they used automotive paint all the way around. Uh, a lot of folks think full body paint means that the side, uh, the slide outs need to be painted, which they are. Uh, the difference with some brands versus others is some brands follow the stripes through the slide out. Some brands don't, this brand doesn't, but it is still full body paint all the way around. All right, let's step inside of this 41 RL. So now prepare yourself. If you didn't see the video that I did on this unit, or at least the same floor plan in Indiana, this is gonna blow you away. Nice friction hinge door. Coming inside. All right, I'm gonna pan up and show you what's going on. All the lights are off right now, but you'll still get a pretty dang good idea. This thing is drop dead gorgeous. I mean, it's, it's very reminiscent of like a really high end expensive condo. You got this waterfall edge right here, all solid surface all the way around. Check this out. Beautiful table, solid surface top to it. Beautiful chairs, day-night roller shades. Very low profile valances as well. These don't stick off the walls very much. All real woods in here. Nice light fixture. Coming over here, you have a nice ottoman in the center and this does flip up for extra storage. Plus a cool little tray right here for your drinks and your food. You have your leather furniture here as well power reclining, massage, heat, and lighting. And then you have a fold-out bed here, turns into a huge bed. But just check all of this out. This is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so this whole wall actually flips out. There's a lock when you open up this cabinet right here, it's underneath here to lock it in place. All soft closing cabinets. Very, very high-end cabinetry as well. The finish is amazing, but check this out. Isn't that a surprise? Nice and clean, a lot of storage back here, and it's very, very much hidden whenever you don't want people to see it. Very, very cool. Nice panoramic fireplace. This has the one control system in it for lighting and everything, and all of your light switches, all of this stuff, actually is controlled wirelessly, which is cool. Power outlets right here. Beautiful setup. Let's take a look at some of your cabinetry. All adjustable shelving. Nice, and then these all 
pull out, fully extending, all soft closing, one piece, nice solid surface countertop, nice real tile backsplash, you have the upgraded Insignia 4 burner stove oven range, more drawers here, they all pull out, and more on the other side. And again, all soft closing. Cabinetry up here, magnetic holds, all soft closing. You have a full convection microwave in here as well. Beautiful microwave, and it's a Samsung. Really nice. Over here you have your Samsung French door refrigerator. Love the slide outs, just really nice and clean. And then on this side of your island, you have some more storage underneath. Very, very cool farm style sink up here. Nice upgraded faucet. You have a dishwasher in this unit as well. The drawer below. Very cool. Now, you don't have a tremendous amount of walkway space through here. This is actually pretty narrow. And they did that to give you a really, really huge island. But I feel they could have trimmed some of the island back a little bit. I mean, they have spots here for bar stools. But if they would have made this, you know, go to maybe here, it would have given you significantly more room to travel this area right here. Because if you're opening up the stove or the oven, you can see it's pretty close. All right. Coming around this way, check this out. Beautiful. Up top, here are all your controls. And you have some closet space here. Dyson already installed. Now, as nice as these look, they're a little hard to open cabinets with. Well, that's a huge door up here. Large cabinet door. And you have spots for your shoes, breakers, and fuses. Coming up the steps. The steps look absolutely beautiful. Has a tire pressure monitoring system included, plus all insulated dual pane windows. Stepping up this way into the bathroom. This is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful bathroom. You have your mirror with nice lighted surround to it. Undermount sink. Real tile. Beautiful, beautiful shower. Now, what is this? Oh, wow, so that is all stone. This is all real stone. Love the drain. Good size shower, too. It's got a lot of room. This feels very residential. Of course, you have an elongated bowl on your porcelain foot flush toilet. And you have space here for toiletries and such. And right here is probably where your washer and dryer would go. It's actually a really, really convenient setup. So you have it all here. It's essentially a laundry room at this point. Very nice. Nice thick crown molding as well. It's trimmed off. Looks really, really nice. All right, now the insane bedroom. Check this out. Looks like they have a piece of trim that's been pulled down. You know, for the life of me, I don't know where that goes. I'm looking around here to see where that may have come off. Oh, right here. So this goes right here. Just covers that track. So that just needs to be reattached. Nice sliding door. And this is all real wood. So this isn't press board. This is real wood. I guess they probably hit some big bumps on the way. Probably just came off. You have your lighting controls, USB, 110 outlets, nice nightstands with little cabinets on the ends as well. Beautiful bed. Absolutely gorgeous bedroom. Then on this side, you have your TV in place. Nice size wardrobe closet. A lot of wardrobe space in this unit. All the way around. And it doesn't impede into your washer and dryer space since that's back there. Plus, this is really nice. Check that out. So you don't really need drawers because you have all these pull-out drawers inside the cabinets. Smart TV already in place. 
And this space up here is so cool. So check this out. It's like an office, right? You can hang a TV, or I guess you could put your computer monitors, everything here. It's just a really, really cool functional spot. You have a small fireplace, you have a nice sitting chair up here, and then you have a window there, and also a window right here, plus some little pockets right here. This is absolutely gorgeous. So at the end of the day, somebody's watching TV, maybe you're editing a video and doing work stuff. It's a really, really cool spot. You can look out, look behind you, some nice natural lighting, your fireplace. This is really, really awesome. Is that a drawer? It is. So it's a true desk, very functional. And I imagine there's storage under here, which there is. What do you guys think? Let's hop on the outside of this coach and talk about some of the, uh, the construction perks. Okay, starting up front, again, it's got the Kurt Rotaflex pin box. It's basically is a big rubber bushing right here, and this pivots so it dampens some of the shock and vibration that would normally transfer to the truck or back to the RV. Um, kind of interesting, most Riverstones I've seen have the camera system already in place on the side. This one doesn't, unless they put it somewhere else. We'll look out for it as we walk around. Front storage right here, very, very thick, heavy baggage doors. This is where your generator would go. This is your hydraulic systems for your leveling. This is the uh, level up system from Lippert, the six point. Nice slam latches there. Probably two 40 pound propane cans. So I thought 30, but this actually has twin 40 pound propane cans. A lot of propane in this unit. All right, big baggage door, nice and thick on strut arms, really nice. Huge, huge pass through storage courtesy of a, a gigantic drop frame that just gives you this enormous storage area and check out all that. So this is what I talk about when I talk about a very, very structural frame. First of all, you have this large piece of heavy walled tubing here and then the whole bath deck area is all steel and it, it spans the entire length from here all the way to back behind this space. Very, very nice. Tons of room. You have a spot here to be able to work on stuff as well. This may be, okay, so there's a screw holding it shut right there. You pull this back, you'll be able to get to your plumbing, some of your heating. Check that out, real water manifold system in place. Very cool, very residential. Gives you the ability to shut off water valves independently in the event there's a water leak or a water issue. Here's that tire pressure monitoring system. You got power in here as well. Very nice outside of your on-demand hot water system from Truma. Really, really nice lighting on the outside. Again, your step above steps, also a big one. Three inch sidewalls. So the sidewalls on this unit are three inches thick, a lot more insulation, uh, a lot more structural, just it's a premium unit. Premium units typically are gonna have a three inch thick sidewall. Um, but I say that even though some premium units don't. So you can definitely tell this is kind of a step above most by having that. Again, this is the Riverstone Signature 41RL. Pricing wise, this is gonna have an MSRP of about $242,000. But get this, the sale price on these units is actually closer to like 170,000. So you definitely wanna call the dealership to find out specifically what the sales price is on the unit you're looking at. But you can suffice to say that it's gonna be significantly less than the MSRP. All right, looking underneath here, even the tires are good. It's got Goodyear tires, the G114 tires. This also has independent suspension and disc brakes. So packages like that on a unit like this can sometimes bring the price up a little bit higher, but you're getting premium everything. Premium suspension, premium disc brakes, premium tires. Okay, coming around. All right, now that we're around back, you can see fiberglass rear cap cameras already in place and it also has all led lighting it has a very motor coach look to the back of it this has a accessory hitch on the back rated at 300 pounds not designed to tow you have your power cord reel right here nice rack and pinion slides plus you have some more storage underneath right there huge rack and pinion slide out system this is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful fifth wheel. Coming around this way, you have your furnace over here, sewer connections, part of your level up over here as well. You can see another look at that suspension system in there. All right. 
And right here is your wet bay. Nautilus panel in place. Whole house water filtration. Your battery disconnect as well. Very cool. And this is gonna be the other side of your storage. Again, very thick baggage door. Check this out. It's gonna be your brake system. So this is your Hydrostar uh, disc brake system. Closer look at your water manifold. 1500 watt go power inverter up top. Really, really nice. And then the slide right here, again, it uses the slim rack system. And then it has a center brace right here as well. Very cool. So what do you guys think of this? So when you look at something like this, let's think about it from a pricing perspective. You look at like the Palomino Paws, super premium, super off-road capable, lots of tech, insanely built, uh, but it's only about 20 feet long, 22 feet long in that range. And it's got an MSRP of about $150,000, $160,000, but the sale price is still gonna be about 130. You look at something like this, which is, you know, much bigger, still incredibly built, has a lot of upgrades. I mean, more upgrades than most fifth wheels you'll ever see. And uh, you look at the MSRP on this unit and it's well into the $200,000 range, but from a sale price perspective, it's well under 200,000. Got your slide top awnings all the way around as well. But what do you think? Leave a comment below. I'd love to know your thoughts. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again real soon.